I want you to do some log sail with your partner. I'm not too worried about how you stand. Don't worry about this, because what we're going to do today is we're going to start with some basic ideas and lock sail. Then, we, then we're going to take it to war sail, and then we're going to talk about free practice. This guy's punching you. Bang. He's coming in one form and he's punching you. So we're going to look at combinations of what I like to refer to punches and bunches. So we're going to go through the different stages to see how what we learn in lock sail might relate to war sail, might relate to if someone's moving. If time is a bit short, we might just go to the end. But just to warm up, I want you to roll with your partner. You did this this morning. When I came in, you were doing this. And all I want you to do is attack your partner. Okay, we will laugh. What is the defense? Paul, did you do, did you do the, the defense with them this morning? Sorry. Yeah, I just no. So Okay, so the defense. <laughs> The reason why we do this bang is because in Wing Chun, you take this arm, I can recover my arm, agreed? But sometimes we have to assume we can't recover the arm. When I can't recover the arm, I have to then rely on using the other hand to recover. Okay, simple concept, yeah? The process of that though, is that you actually have to learn how to relax. Because the nervous system, especially under pressure, forces you to do what? Tense, Tense up, exactly, well done. So if I pull Dan's arm, bang, he's naturally going to do the reverse. Tense, 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 go through it. Fight, pull your arm back, pull, uh, pull your arm back. Which is counterproductive for your body. If someone pulls your arm and you pull your arm back, it's counterproductive. So what locks out a simple stage teaches you, if someone pulls your arm, to let your arm go and rely on the free hand. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? So from a simple point of view, watch how I attack. I know some of you attack from low, don't, it's not politics. All I want you to do is attack from high. The arm's coming forward, and as the arm's coming forward, it's got forward momentum, so why not use that momentum? So watch as it comes in, turn the wrist, and hit. Now, the reason why this is good for you is because you'll learn not to go like that. Because as soon as Dan goes, I pull his arm, what do I do? Hit him, yeah. boom, 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 hit him, as you saw earlier. Yeah, everybody, bang, 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 bang. What we do in Wing Chun, we hit. Strike base start. So what I want you to learn to do is when someone takes your arm, take my arm, to relax, let the arm go, and if they're attacking, use the free hand to slap. So the part here, and the knife hand is to the side of the neck, to the carotid. Simple? Once you've got that, don't worry too much, because people will say, ah, oh, yeah, but your hand's stuck, oh, sorry, lock. Lock. Your hands stuck, don't worry, because the skill is one to be able to control his arm and free your own. Does that make sense? Any questions? You just do sideways arm. Why didn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> the easiest thing to do sometimes is to move. I'll do it again one more time, and we've got my back to it, doesn't it? Okay, so watch slowly. All you're going to do, as you hit forward, he touches your arm, you'll turn your wrist. I don't want you to go like that. Why? Your elbow goes out. Why do I want my elbow in? The last more powerful, admittedly, because you use your lap muscle, but it controls my center line. So, can you see? I'll turn the wrist, just for you. <laughs> Turn her around. Well, you're not in my school, isn't it? <laughs> Turn and hit. And I want you to hit at your partner. It's crucial you do that. We're going to look at a series of attacks and counters and re-attacks and re-counters and re-attacks and re-counters. So we're going to be playing with this. In my mind, this should be like chess. You attack, counter, re-attack, re-counter. And I'm going to show you at the end of this how it all works 